Hi, this is KV and this is the Moon Phase Report for Gemini. So, Gemini, um, you right now are like really craving to be with your group, connect with your friends, to be with people. You may have kind of seen recently how you just miss those connections that are like soul connected and not just people that you have a couple common interests and they're around, um, but you're really wanting to be with people that are like your family, you know. So. Um, right now, or even like, you know, this too could have something to do with wanting, thinking about how you want to give back. You could be feeling very humanitarian right now. Like, I could be helping people. Like, I need to be doing something that gives back and volunteer work or giving more of my time or, you know, um, helping other people who don't have all the blessings that I have, you know, so there's definitely like these elements of something even like group oriented um, coming together with this group that's like a family and you're thinking about that now and um, most likely it's coming soon to you because this is a new moon and it's pretty much probably right around the corner that you're gonna have this or you're finding it now so um, with this new moon there's also that's why I say there's probably family connections related to it like somehow this group or whatever is family related because of the Venus Mars conjunction we have right now which is all about love and it's like you know male female sharing this cool bonding kind of thing so the way that they're lined up for you just makes me think that it's something like with a group that just feels like home, you know, like you're a family in this group, and um, um, it, it's it's too like your friends, like you haven't been around them enough, everyone's lives have been too busy, and you're like, I need my friends, I need my homies, you know, where my people, where I can just be who I am, and not have to have any pretense, or, you know, be with people who are on a superficial level. You don't really love them, but these people that you love, you know, and like, you can just be yourself, you know, so you're kind of craving things like that, and your soul needs it right now, too. So, um, get with those people, you know. weird sound. There's like, <laughs> I had to stop recording because they're, we're having a snow and hail and lightning storm. <laughs> but the hail, but some that was kind of weird. I think like a big thing of snow just fell off the roof or something. Um, but, um, so yeah, so let's just do new moon affirmations. I'm connecting with my soul sisters and brothers. Um, I'm getting together with my friends more, like the friends that are my family. I'm connecting in a group with a group effort that makes me feel more whole in life and that makes me feel like I'm giving back to the people. Um, um, I am doing something that gives back. Um, yeah, so things just like that. It's kind of a simple one for you this time around. Okay, and let's see. Um, uh, you're too... Um, you're moving... You're going to be moving into actually more of an introspective space. So it is kind of good that you really connect with friends right now because there is going to be like this... Uh, pulling back that's going to happen because this happens every year right before your birthday um, and we're going to be getting close to that so it's really good that you do connect with your people right now because you really do kind of need them to amp you up and fill you up and give you the love you know you need to connect with this group thing that you do have that's like an anchor because soon you're going into a space that is more introspective and it can be more quiet and wanting to just sleep and not do anything and be a little depressed and be a little sad because um, it's kind of a uh, moderately normal thing that happens right before our birthday. It doesn't happen every birthday, but it does happen a lot of them. And it's kind of considered to be this death cycle. And we're still a little ways from it. You're not there. I'm kind of just giving you the heads up of why it's even more important that yes, you do get out there, connect with your friends, kind of fill up now, reconnect with those people that you really do love. Um, 
so that you kind of have this steam to pull you through when you do get to that cycle of just kind of like not feeling like you've done enough because if you haven't done enough that year that's what you're going to feel the month before your birthday so to keep you from having to do that i say get with your peoples now um, really have this quality time with the ones that you truly value you don't need the ones where it's just superficial or you're not you're just getting together to get together whatever that's just like not done anymore we have too many things to do in life to waste our time with that you know <laughs> so um, uh, Venus is moving into Taurus on the 16th. Mars is moving into Taurus on the 20th. That's going to start bringing you into already into the more introspective spot. So it's already going to start coming soon, which is why I say connect with your people now. Uh, Mercury will be going into Aries on the 15th, and that's going to have you much more like where you couldn't really communicate what was going on. You didn't really know. You just didn't really feel good. I'm not doing enough. I need to be with my peoples and I need to talk with them and, you know, share what's going on with them, but I can't really talk about it and I don't really know what's going on and I'm in this limbo and, ah, you know. So the Mercury is really going to help you get together, get with them, make it happen, clear the playing field. Um, Speak with love to your people. Open up with anything you need to that you haven't been able to so that you can, you know, make these connections again and feel, like, valuable. Because our friends are so important to us enjoying life, you know. And it was funny because I was raised where, you know, family was the number one. And I was always, the, I was the odd one who was, like, friends. I, I don't know. I just feel like friends are forever you know I just feel like friends are the ones that empower are always empowering you and supporting you and like I've, I always felt like with my family particularly that there wasn't support there was more criticism and I was never right and there was always something wrong with me and I wasn't good enough and I don't know I just never really felt like except for my dad I never and my uncle Mark too was very supportive but there just wasn't I didn't really feel that um, um, and I'm, I'm sure there's a couple others that, because now I'm thinking, there was support. But still, like, overall, I more felt like there was something wrong with me. And that I was supposed to be changing something. And I wasn't good enough. And that I was bad. You know, but friends, <laughs> I'm like, they, they had my back, you know. And, like, they're the ones who are still in my life now and, like, this, you know. So... I always felt that. I was like, no, I think friends, you have to have them. Like, it's just really important to have these really quality friends that you keep forever. And, you know, they're your family. Like, I just always thought these friends that were your family outside of your family are really important to doing big things in life, you know? Um, so, yeah, so you're on that friendship thing right now and you're remembering that to the core of you, like, I need my peoples, and I'm thinking of a Gemini right now who's been trying to get a hold of, trying to get together with me constantly, and then I'm so busy, like, I don't even have spare moments, man, I gotta figure out how to get spare moments in my life, but, um, but I think I promised her, like, this Thursday, <laughs> and now I'm like, uh-oh, I'm too busy, but yeah, I gotta get with my Gemini girl, especially after doing this reading, she needs, we need a hike time with the dogs, I'm coming, Ariana. <laughs> I'm making the space for you, my lovey. <laughs> um, but, um, so, yeah. I think we've gone through enough. Did we talk about Pluto? Um, oh, okay, so let me just do one more thing. So Pluto's going retrograde on the 12th, and that's going to be kind of... Um, um, helping you, like travel is kind of needed in your life right now to kind of bring you to these other levels within your way of thinking, kind of like elevating your higher mind with awakening things. Um, so that's going to be going retrograde. So in a way, some things can kind of come to you that you couldn't grasp before, like you didn't know I mean, this goes along, too, with the friendship thing of not knowing what's wrong. Why don't you feel value, value, value from life or faith in life? Or can you have faith in something? So in that process of Pluto, he is kind of reigniting your spiritual connections and um, reigniting your higher mind to this world of 
having faith in life and faith that things do work out and trusting that you are always doing the right thing no matter what you're doing as long as it feels good um, and isn't hurting somebody else so there's going to be things like ah uh, kind of awakening to some higher thoughts that kind of put your mental state because your mental your mercury your mental um, so kind of putting those kind of things to rest and then um, did I talk about the eclipse I do sometimes I um, okay so the eclipse I don't know if I talked about this yet but we're in eclipse season right now so I wrote an article already I have the link down below I want you to go check that out read what's going to go on with Gemini how this eclipse in Taurus is going to affect you um, it's going to be new hope and new opportunities so it's going to be good it's going to be awesome um, the energies all right now for a while are fresh and alive and start over and falling in love whether it's again or for the first time um, falling in love with everything, nature, life, the animals, the beauty of a uh, juice <laughs> that you juiced and the colors, oh, you know, like everything. Appreciating every little lovely awesome thing about life is kind of what we're supposed to be doing right now. And if you're not, it's just because something, especially you mental, needs to be tweaked. Something needs to be looked at in a different way and seen in a more positive light and not as a negative or bad or you're doing something wrong because you're not. I'm sure of it. Um, okay, so you have a beautiful new moon and you love these energies and I hope your heart's just expanding with love and I hope you're connecting with your friends who really got your back and would do anything for you and love you more than anything um, so that you're like, I got my peoples. So, because I know I have to get with a couple of you <laughs> as we speak. Make some time for you. So you have a beautiful new moon, and I will see you in um, two weeks with the full moon in Taurus. Bye.